Is, is the motivation of non-physical the feelings that they get from uh, our playing the leading edge? Yeah. So that's what see, they're... But here's the thing. When you have that emotion feeling... <laughs> when, you have that, when you have that feeling, what that feeling actually is, is you so harmonizing with what we are that you are translating the vibration of it into something that is tactile and physical yes in other words we're already there when you have the emotion you got there too and so source has physical tactile emotion or feelings yeah. through vicariously through us not so vicariously as you might think because as you just said there's no separation yes thank you which brings me to my next point we're coming to you a crescendo may here be more trouble than your work uh, well you know that is is not that an opinion never, actually that, <laughs> <laughs> um So sometimes I, I can't help myself, and, I, and I'm sure there are many here that relate to this, that we hear what you say, it resonates in our soul, our hearts, uh, our feeling places, and it's like we can hardly contain ourselves. Right. And it happens in, in, in our lives in, in so many ways. So here I am talking with Abraham, and I'm suddenly realizing Abraham is feeling what I'm feeling. Yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't be feeling it. Whoa. <laughs> In other words, you joined us. So how it all works together is we're it's there. You come forth. You mix it up. You go beyond. We rise to the occasion of the new vibration. Hold it. You join us. We have a party. Hey. So uh, I'm here in your club, but you're going to give me a new scale, a feeling scale. So now I'm bringing something to the party here. Right? You're, you, because, because you're the one raising the stakes. In other words, without your exposure to the new and you're asking for something more, we can't focus in the new place and hold a new standard. And your elation is always, always about you joining us in the new standard that you set into motion. Hmm. Boy, just... It puts new <laughs> deliciousness into the we're all in this together stuff, yes. doesn't it? Yes. So uh, I'm, I'm uh, thinking about all the ways that feelings are transmitted. And the key operative there is they are transmitted. Be at, because, and what's the key operative to transmitting of feelings? Alignment. Focus. Focus. Is, is the feeling for source more intense, like intactile? Give us more. Okay. So I have a, a level of feeling for my daughter. She, we, we talk for a few minutes and she hugs and it is intensified immensely. And I'm thinking about, uh, for, for us in physical, touch is, is, the, is tantamount to amplification of feeling. Well, here's, here's the law-based principle behind that. First there is thought, then there is um, manifestation. Another, and so that tactile that you're talking about is that grid filling in manifested part of it. But there's another piece to this that's really important to overlay or to integrate in this conversation. And that is the, you can do everything in the world, including all of these things that you've just been talking about from inside or outside the vortex. In other words, when, when you are tuned in to the whole of who you are and you come into interaction with someone else, now their relationship with who they are is a big player in the way the interaction feels. In other words, you get two people who are mm. tuned in to source energy and whether they come together in physical contact or in conversation, it is a much more meaningful, delicious experience than if one or the other of them is in alignment and the other one is not. 
Okay, and, and I, that's why I put the precondition on it that we're in our highest place. We're connected. And here, here's the crunch right here. So would Abraham's experience of feeling be enhanced by a hug? Everything that you experience that is delicious in your physical experience is and is indicated by the presence of that which is non-physical. The best story that we have about that is Esther see, seeing things that were clearer and hearing things that were too far away to hear and smelling things that she couldn't even find around her. There's an intensification. So is your question, who's doing the translating of the experience? No. My question is, did I have a hug? <laughs> You're speechless. Well, well we've, this conversation has come up before. And the answer to that is no. <laughs> the answer to that is, from the inside out from the inside out, from the inside out. Because here you are mistaking Esther for Abraham. You are, you are wanting Abraham to be Esther. Actually, the question was, does Abraham feel and would... We're involved in every hug. Okay. All right. We're involved in every hug. We're involved in every lovemaking. We're involved in every interesting conversation. We are involved in every humorous contemplation of anything. In other words, that which is Abraham is involved in the best of all that you are experiencing. Yes. But unlike us in physical form, that doesn't uh, but you keep, you translate. Keep, you keep wanting to separate. In other words... I'm not. I got it. <laughs> all right, then take your hug and be gone. <laughs> We are way into the twilight zone. We blame you. Good time for a segment of refreshment.